Good afternoon, I'm Mike Powers. A violent morning in the small northwest New Mexico village of Cuba. Family members discovered the body of a mother of six who appears to have been beaten to death in her home. News 13's David Romero is live in Cuba with the latest on this. David? Oh, Mike, state police are still calling the death suspicious. They haven't ruled it a homicide yet, and they want the woman's living boyfriend for questioning. State police tell us that man is 43-year-old Jose Pinto. He was last seen driving a dark gray 2003 Dodge Durango with possible New Mexico plates of 679 PHS. The, woman, the body of the woman, whose name has not been released, was found in her trailer next to the Phillips 66 gas station on Main Street just before 6 this morning. Cuba police were the first call to the scene, with state police now heading the investigation. Members of the woman's family told us that she lived with Jose Pinto. They would often attend church together. Both were well known in Cuba. The victim worked at both the Conoco gas station as well as the Subway restaurant. The family also tells us that she was originally from the reservation at Ojo Encino. Now she leaves behind four boys and two girls. Their ages are not known, and it's not clear if anyone else was in the home at the time of the altercation. Mike, back to you. Okay, David, thanks for that update. Jose Pinto is described as five foot four inches tall, 200 pounds, and police say he may be headed towards Torreon.